Hello and welcome back to episode 44 of the CrossFit How podcast. What a beautiful day it is today. Um, we've recently had um, some good feedback with regards to the podcast and how well it's doing. Had some email uh, emails from um, uh, from I well, I mean, I guess it's podcast host company or companies that have noticed the 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 uh, the podcast is is moving up in the charts. Um, overwhelmed and, uh, and very chuffed about the podcast doing so well. It started out as a little bit of a project. Um, I know that over lockdown, everyone seems to have started some sort of vlog or podcast or something like that. But um, I mean, getting to change uh, or re-educate some of the views that have been uh, portrayed, you know, with fitness is is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So I'm very very happy that it is having a massive influence um, to those uh, around us. Um, so um, today I wanted uh, to talk to you about um, your own success. Um, and I'm, sh- I'm glad that I caught your attention with the, uh, with the title of this podcast on, on uh, how will you measure it. Um, some people thinking measure what? Um, so, you know, we've the, the, a lot of the things that we speak about have always been about, you know, how you're measuring your own success. Uh, what are you doing towards your goals, etc. Um, but I wanted to. I'm doing a lot of thinking recently, and and uh, I thought, let me get this out uh, and see if we can. You know, I, I want feedback off you guys. I want you guys to tell me how how you how you do it. What does it mean to you? Um, you know, how, how do you measure your own success? Is it the body that you've, you know, you've dreamed of? Is it the status that you have at work? Is it the amount of money you got in the bank? Is it the house that you live in? What to you is is your success? Is it your calorie intake? Is that a tick every day that you, you've controlled that? Um, how do you measure it? How do you measure it? Like, we, we, we all sleep for you know six seven eight hours um in in a bed that you know the beds are the same like it's a mattress at the end of the day yeah you get more comfy ones but the principle is the same um is it the does shopping make you happy does online shopping make you happy or going obviously not now but going out to shops is that something that 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 makes you happy um, the reason I'm saying a lot of these things is because I think a lot of us in fitness, when you, you know, any, I'm not even in fitness actually, within within our life, just society is like you're always searching for something to make you happy. You're always searching, not, not, I wouldn't say a quick fix. I'm not saying a quick fix at all, but always searching for something to, um, you know, make you feel better. And especially through these these you know COVID times where it's been quite hard to do that actually. Um, very hard to do that. Uh, and I, I've kind of sat there a little for a little while and thought, what, what, what makes, makes me happy? And I used to think that it was, um, how I looked. I used to think it was how, um, how well work was doing, how well the gym was doing. Um, but actually I've come to the conclusion that for me, it's about, or how happy I am is about the people that I have around me, like my loved ones, my family, um, my closest kind of network, and and not expecting anything back from anyone has made me really, really happy. Um, and you know, happiness for a lot of us is a very weak word. You can say, "Yeah, I'm happy," but dig you know, dig really, dig really deep and, and ask yourself, like, are you, are you doing what you want to do? Does your, does it work out the way that you want it to work out? Like, yes, I understand there are challenges, there are challenges every day of my life. Like if, you know, today, for example, I went to an osteopath appointment for, um, for maintenance of my body, because obviously working a lot more on the laptop and finding that I'm struggling with certain things, you know, posture, etc. My appointment wasn't till isn't till next month, um, so <laughs> put that into perspective. Like, um, but my point is, like, you know, we all search for something else, and it, it's t- something tangible, something external. But let's talk 
inside of you? Are you really, really happy? And, and we did do a little bit of a podcast w- with regards to this about searching for happiness. But, you know, we, we, we all eat the same food. We all, you know, sleep for the same amount of hours. We all socialize in pretty much the same ways um, and things like that. So there's no real difference to those things. Like, look, if, if you get to like 70, 80, 90, 100 years and you're on your deathbed, how, can you sit there and say, you know, what really made me happy? I had a good life because, you know, the experiences you have. Like after this lockdown, I'm telling you that if you're listening to this, you need to go and do what the fuck you want to do. And if that means that you want to go and see three countries in three months, or you want to go and see, um, you want to walk with animals, or you want to go swim with dolphins, or you want to feed penguins, pigeons, whatever you want to do, go and do it. You know, and if that means that you're on your own and go and do it, perfect. Do what makes you happy. We spend our lives chasing things that maybe are not really, really there. And I think that becomes a point for us to think about that we live in this world that a lot of us focus so much on our outcomes. We choose outcomes all the time over things that, you know, behavioural. So an example of that would be, we always, like, I'm going to talk about fitness here. We talk about the outcomes of losing you know, X amount of weight or lifting a certain amount of weight um, or fitting into a certain pair of jeans or, or uh, dress or whatever it might be. But we don't actually look at the behavioral goals that we need to do to achieve that. We fix ourselves on the outcomes and we have spoken about this before, but I want to reiterate this message. The outcomes of, are you getting, you know, the right amount of sleep? Are you eating the right amount of, or the right food? Are you exercising to, to the right amount? Or are you over-exercising? Are you under-exercising? Un, are you having good nutrition? Are you doing that daily? Those daily choices. And I've said this in the past. A lot of us claim that we want a solution to the problems that we, we search for. Um, and that's the outcome, Right? but you're unwilling to make the the changes, the behavioral changes in your life to solve that problem. And that's why I'm saying, are you happy? Because I think if you can flip the switch and go, right, I'm going to focus on the things that I need to do in order to maybe, to, to, not maybe, to get you know the outcome um, goal. But I'm not so fussed on the outcome because I want to concentrate more on the behavioral goals. We ran a nutrition challenge in January and... Um, very successful. However, we never really made a big deal about the outcomes. It's not that we don't care. It's a result. It's a bonus to what you, you know, the guy has achieved. But actually, a lot of them every day, well, you know, every day they had a certain task that they had to complete to change the behaviours and attitudes towards food. And the feedback from the, the, the challenge has been, you know, great. Really good, really positive, you know, that we can make better for the next challenge that we run. And a lot of the feedback was, I liked the daily tasks. I liked, I liked being held accountable and changing those things day by day. It wasn't unrealistic. And we've said in the past, just focus on one thing at a time. But we always drift off to outcomes. Oh, I want to lose this. I want to do that. Just focus on the now so that you can make yourself happy in what you're currently doing. Because when you never, if you don't find that um, that way of managing that, you're never ever going to be happy because there's always something that you're going to want to do that you don't have. Because you're going to look at some dickheads with a blue tick on social media who does not give a fuck about you or what you do, just whether you buy their shit. And they'll tell you how life, how easy things are to do. And I keep portraying this message. I keep telling you because this is how exactly how it is. And one thing I have noticed about this lockdown and the position that we're in at the moment, yes, there has been a lot of stuff on social media that has been shit, but a lot more people are talking and calling those people out. And I absolutely love that. Not some bullshit model from Gymshark, you know, telling you this and telling you that or showing you this and whatever. You want a solution to your problem. Change your behavioural goals. Your behavioural goals change, you start to find happiness within yourself. 
Because what you're putting into yourself is good for your body. You have zero expectations. Now, if you, I, I listen to Gary Vaynerchuk quite a lot. He's someone that I listen to regularly. Um, I like the way he talks. Uh, I like the messages that he put, puts across. And um, a lot of, you know, he, he, his experience is, wow, like, incredible. And he talks about happiness a lot. And I, I look back at the times in my life where, I, at the time, I thought I was happy. Um, but actually just putting plasters on things. Because maybe I was doing things that I didn't want to do. Um, I was doing things to please other people. But mainly... I was doing things because I was expecting something maybe back, possibly. Now, over the last, like, 18 months, maybe two years at most, I've changed the mindset that I don't expect anything back from people in return for anything that I do. And it has really made me uh, internally a very different person. Um... And especially reading the book I spoke to you that I, you know, told you I was reading, uh, if you listen to the podcast as well from, um, that I've done with uh, Wise Media, um, that I was reading Jay Shetty's Think Like a Monk. And there are certain things in there, speaking about you know, how monks, um, w w how, how, how they don't react or talk about others. Uh, and that's something um, that, you know, we always have an opinion on. We always are that person this or that person that. And it, that, without you knowing, that is quite detrimental to your own happiness because without realising, you're throwing your projections on other people. You're voicing your opinion about someone else, but it's got nothing to do with you. Focus on, in, on those behavioural behavior goals instead of, instead of the outcomes. Can you really, if you were to sit back at the end, as I said, you get to the end of life, what makes you have a good life? Because, and you're going to say, you're not going to measure success because, oh, you've got 50 million in the bank. You've got whatever, you've got all these assets. You know, you had a great physique when you were younger. None of that's going to matter, is it? Really? Death's a scary place. I don't want to get into this conversation. It's a very scary place. But when you're at that point in your life where, you know, you reflect and look back and go, I haven't got much ahead of me but I've had a lot behind me. How will you measure that? What does it mean to you? For me, as I said, I really think it is how happy you or I was within that time, the amazing experiences that you had, the positive people, the network that you've got around you, the people that love you or that you love. That's something that you can't buy. You can buy all these other things to make you feel good. You can shop online as much as you want. You can buy your new protein shake. You can buy your new Metcons. But love through family or, or with a partner is, is unconditional. You can't buy that stuff. So take a step back. Forget all these expectations that you've got on yourself. You just let go of them. That just, you know, that obviously is a lot easier said than done. You can't just let go of them. But slowly work on coming away from those expectations. Now, yes, you can have goals, absolutely. Don't get those two confused. But I will say that we've had, you know, a, a lot of time in this place of lockdown. And it has definitely showed me those people who have a lot more internal happiness than others with the way that they've been able to um, not conduct themselves, um, but keep pushing through and just keep smiling. Like we're, we're fortunate in the sense, or I'm fortunate in the sense that with the one-to-one -one stuff that we do outdoors, we're allowed to, we're, obviously we're allowed to do that. Um, and there's just certain people that just, just make you smile, that just make you happy because you can just see how happy they are. And I am so happy to know that they are so happy. It, honestly, this is, might be getting a little bit deep, but think about your own happiness and what really, really makes you happy 
and how you're going to measure that in 25, 30, 50, 60 years at the end of your time. Really start to think about that. Change that mindset on, on what you think makes you happy right now. Because I've said to you in the past, right, you get that six pack, what the fuck are you going to do with it? Pose for a photo. You get into, you know, this and that, an outfit or blah, blah, blah. That's great. And that's fantastic that you've been able to achieve that. And I don't take anything away from you for doing that. You're happy at that time of doing it. But remember, none of this is going to be important. So just live every day as happy as you can be so that you can turn back around when time is up and go, yes, I had a fucking great time. And I don't regret anything. And I've got people around me that love me. And I've done things that I wanted to do. I've had greatest adventures. Go and do it. After lockdown, whatever you, if there's fear inside you, you need to face that fear. You need to look at yourself in the mirror, write down your fears and what it is that you fear about them. Ask for help from someone. How do you get over that fear? Because taking that fear element away, a lot of it is down to our own insecurities. And a lot of those insecurities are either projected from us by our parents because of their own insecurities, their expectations when, they, when you were growing up of, they, of what they wanted you to become or what you think other people perceive you to be. And to be honest, no one really gives a fuck. Everyone's selfish. Everyone cares about themselves. Let's be honest. At the end of the day, you can have your opinion on someone, whatever you want to say, but no one gives a fuck about anyone else apart from themselves. Really. Do what makes you happy, face your fears, and live the life that you want to live.